All right, since I have to move the car over there, I'm going to do a true cold start. Um, I don't know when the last time this car was started or moved, so hopefully it fires up. You can see the fire up with no problem. The screen sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I will get back to that when we do the interior inspection. I am a little worried about the um, the battery issue not being able to start it later so I might as well take care of the uh, engine running video while I can um, RPMs are holding fine uh, the monitor inside works the screen we had working before it was very oranged out uh, you can get just the monitor itself replaced the actual computer and all the like it doesn't need a whole new system which is good because that's super expensive just a screen is cheap um, so I know that works this is cracked here I'll get back to this during the interior navigation works um, I pop the hood sounds good engine running the, I, it's got the little tapping and maybe it sounds worse on video, which it usually does, um, but it sounds basically the same as most GTR engines that I hear. Uh, there's no fan squeals or anything of that nature. Before I wash and do the uh, exterior video, I'm going to do the electronics check. Which I, I haven't checked to see if the air conditioner even works on this. I'm sure it does, but I mean it's 14 degrees, so it's a chilly morning right now. Get that up and running. Blowing on my feet. Go do both. Yeah, I mean obviously it's cool right now. Windshield wipers work. Close the door. Horn works. Hope my hope the neighbors aren't mad. Mirrors in. Mirrors out. Right mirror adjust. Left mirror adjusts. Turn on the headlights. Side works four ways. That should be it. Oh, I get the temperature down. No. Go back up. Air conditioner. Interior light, sorry, works. Yes. Reading light, works. Blink. 
blinker, headlights, blinker, passenger blinker, headlight. This side marker is out. Maybe it's just the bulb. Tail light, blinker, tail light. The, the lighting, I, I do believe that the tail light is, is on. I'll have to check this one. The blinker works. That one looks on. I can see in the light. This one might be out. I'll have to check that. Get this taken care of now. I will start with the walk around video. All right, this car has been sitting here for some time, so I am aware of um, what's wrong with it. We've, I've talked with the client about addressing it before selling it or when he was gonna just keep the car. So we'll start with the bumper. I will point basically everything out. Let me see if I can, I can't change, oh, I can change it, sorry. There is pressure crack right about here starts and goes to about right here for the front bumper it is missing the lower GTR lip uh, those can be bought with carbon fiber or direct replacements carbon fiber will obviously be a lot more expensive a couple of scratches there is a right in the Sun yeah pressure crack right here so maybe it bumped something Bumper. And then the clip for the bumper is broke right here. The bumper's on, it's just cracked there. Uh, I assume it may be bottomed out and it broke here. That happened to my GTR back in the day. Um, right in this area here, it looks like it's been push down um, let me check this oh okay well no this side has it as well you can't just route right in here it kind of goes down I thought that was hit but there is color fade on the hood in this area so this looks like it's been sprayed and wasn't resprayed good and right here so the paint on the hoods a little uh, spotty but overall, like if you look at the car in its entirety, oh yeah, you can see it right there, the color difference right there. Headlights are a little foggy. Um, I've tried polishing them with just the buffer. I did that one and I did not do that one. You can see the difference, but if you can sand them down, spend a little more time, they'll clean up or get replacement lenses. Fender. Now this, this side is the bad side of the car. It's almost like this was exposed to the elements and this one was not this side. This side, there's no really um, damage at all. And then this side has quite a bit that I will point out. 
there's a little scuff in the paint here. I'm going up the pillar that doesn't come off. It's under the paint. So we've priced out what it would be to paint this side of the car up to the roof and down the other pillar, which I'll show you has the same issue as this. There's paint fade along here and right in here. And then on this, going down to the quarter panel, there's a lot of um, bubbles in the paint. It looks like it was painted up to here and then sprayed over. All color fade on the quarter all the way to the trunk. You can see the difference in color. Whoever painted this just really didn't do a good job and it allowed water to get under the paint, which bubbled it up and made it look rusty. It's not corrosion, I don't believe, so that just needs to be sanded down. But yeah, the, the entire door and quarter needs to be painted. Same here for the side skirt. There's dirt in the paint. But there's no door dings. I mean, you can see my reflection, it's fine. Um, there's door ding here and here in the quarter, which if you're going to paint this, that can all be fixed at the same time. And right here is like a crease mark you can see. But that, in the entirety, this is the worst, well, besides the engine bay, this is the worst uh, of the exterior. I mean, they probably drove it pretty hard. It's got kicked rock marks, chipping the paint there where they just lived in a rocky, snowy area, I'm not sure. Spoiler looks good. Rear window looks good. It is not a V-Spec, it has a V-Spec sticker. There is a, I don't know what kind of mark that is on this uh, fiberglass spat there. Other than that, the rear bumper is in good condition. There's a scratch here. And this side of the car, as I mentioned, if I look down it, I don't see any damage at all. It looks really good. The side skirt has the same uh, dirt. I mean, whoever painted it just didn't really do that great of a job. And as far as what I mentioned, it would paint over and down to take care of this issue as well. The mirrors are good. This fender is good as well. The sides in the sun so you can really see the flake in the paint. All right, passenger wheel. Front. Oh, there is a brush mark there. It's not chipped, it's just kind of really brushed. Passenger rear. Driver rear. They're wet since I just washed the car. And driver front. Window, wipers good condition. All right. All right, the engine bay is uh, the car's biggest trouble. I did a video where I was comparing this one with the blue V-Spec 2 that I sold. Um, you can kind of get a more in-depth um, idea of what is needed to solve the issues with this car. Uh, long story short, the strut towers are corroded, which means they will have to be cut and replaced. Will everybody do that? Probably not, but that is the correct fix. Um, there are ways to just kind of chip it away and, and fix it, but you're not really solving the issue of the rust that comes underneath of it. Um, so replacing it, the parts themselves are about $2,000 just to get um, Garage Yoshida custom strut towers 
that they sell where they cut the whole thing out and they weld it all in but the, the engine's all pulled and everything is fixed at the same time and the engine bay is completely redone looks brand new that's going to be about thirteen thousand dollars to do the entire process um, maybe you have somebody that can do it cheaper um, parts alone two thousand dollars maybe less um, it's about I can't remember the yen off the top of my head uh, but yeah so engine bay uh, I have there's some polished dust on here because I did polish the headlights the core of the front support is good the headlights aren't cracked or replaced um, they can be opened up and cleaned to give it a more polished look uh, left strut is where the issues come in you can see it's lifting there so that would have to be at least cut out and fixed to look decent the strut bar is good um, over on the right strut as well corrosion and rust is coming up and lifting I haven't pulled the strut bar off to see what it looks like under there um, but th that's the main issue and really there's no rust under the car Per se is like if you saw that you would think well the entire car is rusted out but it's not it looks completely fine you know whether it's uh, down in the core support the core supports not painted or anything it, it's uh, never really been touched everything else is rust free it's a shame that it, it came out on these uh, struts like it did Even if you get into a firewall and the places that tend to rust, there's really no rust issues happening. Um, the valve cover is a little chipped up. I did the engine start video and it, it ran fine. This is kind of dirty, this foam here. I don't know if that can just be taken out. Nismo cap. Timing belt was changed. I don't see any seepage on the upper hose. I can't see the lower hose. Factory intercooler. The pods are clean. Underside of the hood is clean. Got a little bit of uh, heat rash there. Mine was completely chewed up. And even the brackets are all rust free. Now I will show you the trunk next. All right, the trunk, when we got the car, the battery was completely dead. We couldn't keep the car running. Um, we were using batteries connected to each other, connected to the battery. And I mean, I assume that battery is fine, but it looked really small for the um, size of the opening. Um, but really, we couldn't keep it charged with anything. But right now, it's fine. It's, I believe the, the battery is finally, we've run the trickle charger on it for a while, and now it fires up without an issue. We're still going to replace that battery. Um, we had to remove the complete back support because the batteries are hidden in the GTRs. Um, but as far as the trunk, I can't get, I'll get down in there and get some pictures. Um, there's no rust happening under here, uh, but there is rust on this side that goes along with whatever sort of repair they had to do. They just didn't do a good job when they painted it. So this needs to be uh, fixed here. It needs to be addressed as well as right here. I'm running along the window there are a couple of uh, rust spots starting just surface rust on this side not really any issues rear taillights fine there's rubbing here Sorry, the sun is right there. And 
if I can uh, get this cleaned up, I'll, I'll show you the uh, spare. And now for the interior, driver, door. There's no brush marks or kick scratches down on the bottom. All the knobs are nice. There is some fade, sorry, there's some loud trucks on the street. There is some fade in the mirror switches there, but there's no cracks on the handle or um, elbow cracks, which is good. Brackets all seem good. Door sill is rust free. It's got a brush mark, it's not rust. Driver's seat is in good condition aside from a small, yeah, there's a small tear here. Other than that, for how many kilometers and how old the car is, it's in good shape. And the steering wheel is in need of restoration. As you can see, actually the dealer we bought it from tried to keep the wheel, even though it was advertised with this wheel. And then they put a Momo in here and I said, well, I want the factory wheel. It's much more, uh, much more expensive. So they sent it to me. 44,000 kilometers and I don't know if I mentioned but the AC did blow cold that's not an issue uh, it has a turbo timer which I don't have on knobs are in good shape except here is a little faded dash there's no cracks on the actual dash it's in very good shape. This um, center console that all GTRs and Sylvia's are scratched on, it's uh, scratched, but it's on the uh, minimal side, I would say, of scratches. The worst being there is a crack here and a crack here, probably from messing with the MFD. Uh, as I mentioned, it works it's oranged out this screen just needs to be replaced we had it when it was delivered it didn't work we fixed it it went out again so that's why I, I know the brains of the system are fine you don't need a whole new system just a new screen there's no cigarette smells in the car it smells like your typical skyline factory shift knob Factory e-brake and boot. Everything is quite tidy. Factory mats, factory pedals. DC to AC inverter. I guess you can run a monitor if you wanted. Go around the passenger side. here rear seats are in good shape as well as the canards or whatever they're called the inserts that I had the uh, that looks like a damage but it's really not I had the trunk liner sitting on the rear seat Passenger side door. Again, no brush or kick marks. Knobs, good shape. Brackets, hinges, door sill. Passenger seat, no issues. There's not any damage like the um, driver's seat was. So this one looks almost untouched. Factory floor mats, ETC machine. Roof, 
It says Nismo. I'm sure that's expensive. All these are in the pictures. 